How's everybody doing out there today? It's Mr. Nobody. We're out at a historical landmine uh, land site right now. Um, I'm out here with my beautiful wife Jennifer. Being that I'm a horrible reader, she's going to read the plaque that we got sitting right here. Um, we are at one of the very first houses that was built out here in Phoenix. Still standing today. It's a lot of history just on this house alone. And uh, all right, we'll have my wife read the... Come on, baby. Duffa Homestead. Daryl Duffa, I think I pronounced that right, explored Arizona four years before coming here with Jack Swilling's party, pioneers whose irrigation canal first opened the Salt River Valley to farming in 1868. A well-traveled Englishman and a scholar of the classics, Lord Duppa, is credited with naming Phoenix and Tempe. In 1871, he homesteaded 160 acres of this land, qualifying for one of the first 10 land grants in the territory. This adobe, built after Duppa sold the land, is restored with cottonwood branch, mud-roofed construction, typical of the earliest houses in Phoenix. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Yeah, this, but this house right here, um, Daryl never lived in the house from what uh, we were reading, um, but he was um, the one that named Phoenix, um, after a couple other names that Phoenix had, um, and it was, uh, um, there was, which one was that? Um, uh, we need to find like a shadow or something. Yeah, because I can't see anything. Yeah. Um, well. It'll be in the description. Yeah, it'll be in the descriptions. One of the names was Halen Mill. Um, back in the late 1800s, it was Halen Mill. F a few years later, um, it um, the city was called uh, Mill City. Um, and then they were trying to think of a different name to come up with and uh, Lord Duppa he's like well why don't we just call it Phoenix and it stuck well now we're Phoenix uh, you know a lot of people out there says Phoenix has always been Phoenix well not technically but this house is remarkable for how old it is and it's still standing today. Um, it's taken care of by Arizona's historical. Um, looks. Yeah, the yeah Arizona is historical society. They come out and do keep up on the landscaping and make sure everything is still good. Looks like the back of the house, um, there was more to it. Cause you see that temporary wall that's right there. That's a temporary wall. It's also electrical. Yeah, there's electrical hooked up to it too. But I don't know. I wish we could go inside, but no, nope, that ain't gonna happen. But yeah. Help him grow his channel. He might be able to convince them. Yeah, <laughs> get my channel uh, a lot bigger. I might be able to talk to the right people and see if we could actually go inside and do a blog on what it looks like from the inside. But for now, this is good. We get to see the outside of the place and uh, just see see it's still sitting here. Man, it's crazy. This this house is actually pretty big for for its time too. Yeah. Man, just look at all that woodwork up here. And 
there's a window right there. Look how thick that wall is. Man. Yeah, my wife doesn't want to be in the video. All right, well, I think that's going to be the end of today's vlog. Um, thank you for viewing with me. Any uh, anybody that likes what I'm posting, please give me a big thumbs up. Any new viewers, please uh, subscribe to me and much appreciated thank you mr nobody signing out